Hello guys, who here back in another video. This time around we're talking about the Gunslinger. And the Gunslinger is one of the uh, uh, sorry, one of the classes that does the most damage in the game uh, because of its class gym. So uh, the, the Gunslinger uh, works in the way of being a magic damage character. And I was I just as I mentioned, the class gym is very, very important. And what the class gym does, uh, it's absolutely needed. It's what it does is that it makes all your uh, or make your uh, ultimate uh, these charge shots. So when you charge up your, uh, if you hold down your mouse button two or whatever it is on console, uh, you are going to char and make a charge shot. After a while, it's going to be some rings around you and it's going to shoot it, and then you're going to do extra damage with that shot. But if you have the class gem, uh, basically all your shots is going to be. Um, is going to be these charge shots. You don't have to, you know, charge it up. It's going to be charged <laughs> themselves and also have an AOE. So you can actually AOE things down as well uh, with this one. So it's absolutely amazing. Uh, it does decrease your attack speed, but you're probably going to get that much attack speed. So it does not really need it. Um, other gems now that we are here is uh, the ba Berserk Babbler is pretty awesome because uh, it gives you a stacking increase attack speed. So also gives you a little bit of light, but that doesn't really work for uh, like other places than in Geo Topside. So, but the attack speed is pretty nice and you can get like to maximum attack speed. I do have that to get to t uh, when I basically with this procs and I get this all the way up there. I do had hit the maximum attack speed as you can get also with the subclass that I will talk about later. But that's really what it's all about is to you just use your uh, this one and then use your potions. And I'll talk about that in a little bit, how it all works. But now I, you know how it works with the hit and run. So let me talk about the subclass while we are here. Uh, you want to get the Lunar Lancer uh, buff because it's absolutely amazing. The uh, attack speed from there is absolutely uh, awesome. Uh, maybe uh, with, if you're min-maxing at the battle, I, I've, see, I've reached the maximum attack speed uh, when this is procced basically. So I thought about maybe going into something else, maybe something that gives me, you know, more, uh, you know, magic damage instead of this physical damage, but the buff is absolutely amazing. But you could maybe look into getting some of the, you know, uh, at the, the Shadow Hunter one or maybe the the uh, the Ice Age one because this is the just of this sure uh, 750 magic damage. There's also other ones you can probably look into and stuff like that. But as as you are leveling up or as you are probably not hitting uh, maximum uh, attack speed, which is 300%, uh, then you don't really, uh, you know. Kind of look for this as well all right so for gear you want to look for attack speed you want to look for crit hit and crit damage uh or you want to look for some magic to find or uh, movement speed even if you are looking for that uh, because you want to of course go for the magic damage but you want to get a hundred percent crit and as much crit damage as you can get as well so a close to five i have actually five percent over critical so i should actually look into getting less than that and actually go away from some some critical hits so so maybe some other stats will benefit me more. But yes, you want to go for the attack speed and you want to go for the critical damage on all your stuff. And uh, for your ring, you want to go for jumps. And why wouldn't you want to go for jumps? Well, jumps is basically the only thing you really want. When you get to the max, you can also get critical hit if you don't have enough. But uh, you do want to go for the... Um, you do want to go for the jump because you want to stay in the air as much as you can. The, the, the Gunslinger works in the way when you are damaging, when while you are in the air, basically, when you're up there and you're damaging a monster or doing damage to a monster, it will actually slow you down very, very significant, but you will fall down a little bit and that with the jumps is going to you basically jump you back up where you were and you can stay in the air like that. Of course, also, if you have a Ganda and you're out in the world, you can also jump on that if that's what you want to do. All right, so for allies, uh, this is where it becomes a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, uh, what you want to have is, of course, the um, Chronomancer Cubesley. You want to have that extra 20% magic damage. That is awesome. But you also want the cooldown reduction so you can have this up all the time, basically. But it, there's also another trick to it to keep this up all the time. This is not the only thing, but the 25% uh, cooldown reduction is absolutely necessary for this to work and how does this work well it works with the flask so you want to use your flask 
um, and you want to use death define or you can use something else uh, you can also use some that gives you app back when you do a hit like uh, a critical there's a chance of doing that as well I usually use a death define because it's a, you know you, you can get one shot with just only a half a million uh, HP but how it works is that you of course you want to use the arcane because the arcane emblem is the absolutely best emblem there is for magic damage users so you want to use that one in the one of your slots and then the other one is the chronomantic Cubesly, oh not chronomantic, <coughs> sorry, the chronomantic emblem. And what it does is that it reduces up all your abilities. That means also your ultimate. So basically you want to, uh, you know, pop your ultimate, uh, pop a potion, and it's going to take some of your cooldown away. And that's, you're going to hit, and then it's going to run out. So you're basically your potion, and, and it's going to run out uh, with the uh, for three seconds. And then you pop another one. And that's going to reduce it again you're going to pop it again and for three seconds you have that ex extra and then when that runs out you are going to be all the way around actually to starting again and then you can pop uh, start your ultimate again do the same thing over all over again until you can get around and using all of these so hopefully that makes sense to you when i'm talking about this um if you're not, you can go check out the stream and stuff like that. I do play it sometimes in Shadow Towers, for example, on Ultra Hydra, because it doesn't run around that much. And I can just, you know, stay in the air and just shoot at it uh, all the time. It's a very good class and does yeah, amazing, amazing damage still. Uh, but only when their ultimate is up, though. Uh, so that's kind of how it works. Um, I did talk about the subclass. Let me explain the other uh, gems you, you can you want to use the pyro disc and the explosive these two are the ones you want to use for your um, other gems your the, well you want to use your class gem that's the most important one I, I would say the most important one is 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 the class gem and then the second one is the Ber berserk battler but you can use whatever you want to here if you want to it's not like really super necessary to have this one but um, if you do have one of these lying around with some magic damage on, I would uh, suggest that you really, really, really look into having this one here. But uh, Pyro Disc is nice, it's just a little bit extra moving around. And the explosive is just amazing because it also works explosive with the there. So this is explosive, uh, you know, you do your AOE and also explodes on top of that. So just a lot of uh, amazing things for the, the whole thing to come together. So I think that explains more or less how the Gunslinger works. If there was something I missed, make sure you put it in the comments or if you have any questions or anything like that. Uh, I, super appreciate, I super much appreciate you watching this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.